The scourge of ageism in Uganda is widely acknowledged and falls particularly on older women. Majority in abject poverty and abandoned in deplorable conditions. Pascalina, although now 85 years old, is a resident of Adok Sub County in Dokolo District. She is too frail to fend for herself, surviving on handouts. Like Pascolina, many older persons are trapped in vulnerable conditions. Professor Richard Nam, a senior gynecologist, say many of them have complications resulting from poor living conditions. Because they are ignored, they get this problem, nobody's there to take care of them. And I see quite a number of them coming to, for services here with very advanced cancers. I've seen quite a number of them dying of conditions like uh, pneumonias. So they stay in the cold, so they're prone to pneumonias, chest infections. Others actually are dying of cancer of the penis. Nam wants government to consider urgent medical insurance for the elderly in addition to the sage money. Even that 25,000, some of them are not benefiting is directly from me <laughs> because they go with their grandchildren, they get that money and disappear with it. Bien. Dokolo district, with the support of the woman MP, is moving from parish to parish, documenting the elderly. The district chairperson, James Otao, says majority are not benefiting from SAGE. Nelson Ojung also says he's left out because of age. He claims his data was wrongly captured during ID enrollment. Actually, it's close to 50% of the older person, their national ID is not rhyming with their head. Actually, the most important thing, we are collecting data of this older person. Uh, we have started this as a pilot project. We sample about six sub-counties. And on those six sub-counties, that's what we are going to look at. I think in the long run, we shall come up with a very good comprehensive report. And I pray that this report should reach the parliament. The number of older persons has increased from 1.1 million in 2002 to 1.3 million in 2010 and is projected to hit 5.5 million by 2050. In Doklo district, the woman MP Cecilia Wall has been building low-cost houses for the most vulnerable and abandoned iconic figures who retire from service with dignity. We are told that God is love. So if you cannot love somebody who is suffering, if you cannot do something about that person suffering, then you cannot say you love that person. Ed Yolua, UBC News. Let's start from there. In your community, if there are women, if there are vulnerable people who are living in grass-touch shelters and it's raining on them, then you are not a good leader.